State health officials report nearly 8,000 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours. This brings the state case total to over 787,000. An additional 76 reported deaths elevates the state death toll to over 13,000 lives lost since the start of the pandemic. There have been more than 11 million coronavirus tests processed in Illinois. The state's positivity rate was 10.1 percent as of yesterday. A reminder that coronavirus concerns will keep Freeport 145 students online for another two weeks. Students were supposed to return to buildings tomorrow, but administrators extended remote learning through December 18th. The decision was made last week after at least 12 staff members were asked to quarantine due to exposure to the virus. In-person learning is now scheduled to resume January 4th. Whether your kids have been attending online school or in person, changes to the usual routine could be impacting their activity level. Schedule changes could result in a lack of sleep for some children. A recent National Sleep Foundation poll found that 30 percent of elementary students and half of middle and high schoolers don't get the recommended amount of rest. OSF Healthcare Sleep Specialist Dr. Kanika Verma says that can lead to problems. We're seeing that the kids who don't get enough sleep, their, um, their learning becomes an issue. They start having behavioral issues. Um, they're tired. They can't focus. They're hyperactive because kids respond differently to sleep deprivation <laughs> uh, than adults, where kids actually become very, very hyperactive. Verma says a major sleep stealer is screen time. She recommends shutting down electronics two hours before it's time to turn in. President Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani has tested positive for COVID-19. The president announcing the news via Twitter this afternoon. Trump saying, quote, get better soon, Rudy. We will carry on. Giuliani has been crisscrossing the country in recent weeks, attempting to make a case on the president's behalf that there was fraud in the 2020 election. His communications director tested positive for COVID-19 on November 28th. Kia is recalling nearly 300,000 cars for possible engine fire risks. The Korean car maker says the recall includes Sorento, Forte and Forte Coupe, Optima Hybrid, Souls and Sportage vehicles. Impacted years are different for each model, ranging from 2012 to 2015. The automaker says fires in the engine compartment can happen while driving. Kia dealers will make engine inspections, tests, repairs and issue replacements as necessary. The company recently agreed to pay a record $210 million civil penalty after failing to recall 1.6 million vehicles for engine issues in a timely fashion. A stateline museum closed during Tier 3 COVID mitigations hopes to make up lost revenue another way. Discovery Center is hosting a gift shop sale this week. The store carries games, science kits, books, puzzles, and more. Customers can shop by appointment, over the phone, and even request a personal shopper to pick out the perfect gift. Members receive a 25% discount. Everyone else saves 15%. Holiday Happening runs tomorrow and Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.